Hello. All right, here's a summary of tonight's testing. I tested with uh, this custom cowling. I tested with the Viking cowling. I tested with no cowling. Now, all my testing was just done on the ground at the moment, so I was just getting baselines to see how everything compared. And uh, everything was in the green on this. It uh, cooled, as I'd say, as well on the bottom, going into the radiator, uh, as the Viking um, cowling. Of course, no cowling seemed to do the best on that. But uh, so the bottom uh, radiator cowling uh, cooling does well. The gearbox cooling, uh, currently the Viking is superior uh, superior to my cowling. I've cut two more holes in the front to see how the cooling is there. Now, all my testing is on the ground, so I'm going to have to get it up in the air and just. Uh, do a comparison here. Since I do have video of the other cowling, I'll have a good reference. So that's the next on the list, but I've got some other uh, pokers in the fire I need to take care of. So we're going to do those first and then we'll uh, take it up. Probably, in, I I'm hoping tomorrow, but yeah, if it doesn't happen tomorrow, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, it's coming along. I don't have anything on the uh, top yet. Um, let me just show you something here. This little mark right there, that's where the dipstick is. Uh, something I want to try here later is I want access to this dipstick. So I, I might do a uh, inlet here. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a NACA. Jan uh, has kind of got me inspired to try to do ram air. So I might do a, a small uh, rise here and then do ram air right to the breather uh, to the uh, air filter and uh, see what happens there but I got to get a baseline so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it as now uh, without anything inside or without any ram air uh, and it's just getting the air from inside the cowling so anyway there's a lot more to do and uh, it's gonna take a while to get there but yeah I'm having fun all right you have a good night